I guess in this video lecture, I'm going to discuss about how to migrate a MySQL database to Microsoft SQL Server. So let's open the MySQL Workbench. So MySQL Workbench. Then uh, let's give your root password. So here you can see this circular database this all tables there. So circular database that's going to move inside the Microsoft SQL Server. So let's open the SQL Server. Microsoft SQL Server. So let's quickly connect. And now you can see this database, let's click, click, right click then new database and uh, here giving circular underscore new. Then after click on this OK. So this database that's created there. The next is in Google search box. So here let's go on this Google search box. There, you need to write SSMA for MySQL. Then you should go on this Microsoft.com site. Then after click on this download. Here you can see this is this is old version 9. Here 10 version. 10 version that's going to use. This is for 32 bit and this is for 64 bit. Selecting this option and click on this download. So this download done here. Then after here, you need to refresh this page and click on this download. Again, they are going to download the extension pack. Click on this download. So this tools are done here. Then after, let's click on this join folder. So in folder, there you can see. So first need to install MySQL. Double click there. So SSMA for MySQL, then click on this next. Here you can see setup enable to find MySQL or DBC driver 5.1 and above. Let's click on this download. So if driver is not there from this place, you can easily download the driver by clicking on download button. So this is the latest version. Let's click on this using MSI file to download. Click on this download button. Let's click on this. No, thanks. So driver first going to install there. So this is, let's click on this. So in folder, so first here driver that's going to install. Let's click on open once again. Here you can see MySQL connector ODBC driver. Double click there. Then click on this next. Here, I accept, next, complete, then next, here, click on this install button. Now, this come from Oracle America, let's click on yes. So, installing this driver, that's done here. So, driver installed successfully, then after, let's click on this next, here, I accept, Next, complete, and click on this install button. So this come from Microsoft Corporation, click on yes button. So installing SSMA for MySQL. So this click on this finish. Then after, let's so install the extension pack. Click there on this extension, SSMA for MySQL extension, click on next. So already driver is still installed. Let's click on next. Here I accept next. Here complete. And now you need to click on this install button. Microsoft Corporation click on yes. And here installing this or uh, complete. And now this come from Microsoft Corporation click on yes. And here click on next. Next.
helicopter, you need to give the password or extension pack. Now after that click on this next, next and successfully let's click on other that's going to use the no, let's click on this exit. So SSME that installed successfully, let's go on this Microsoft SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Migration Assistant for MySQL. So let's so open this, there you need to click on this new. Here, let's uh, select uh, 22. Here, you can select your person. Thereafter, click on this OK. And now, you need to wait for 3 seconds. Let's click on this Connect on MySQL. Automatically, this driver that's taken there. Server, or uh, from uh, when you use this, uh, let's uh, close this one. So, writing the MySQL workbench. So, here you can see our local host is the server, root is the user, this is the port number. So, let's give the correct info, giving local host, or you can give your IP address, giving our root, and uh, thereafter give their password. Then after click on this connect. So I'm going to use the only Sakila. So this unchecking and uh, this unchecking and this so uh, you can't uncheck. So let's uh, uh, click on this OK. So this turn here, here you can see this. Uh, here you can uh, migrate this. Now, thereafter, let's click on this SQL Server. So, server name, let's give the local host, or you can give your IP address. So, or this place, so you can see. There, I just created one database, Akira underscore name. So, let's click on this, or if that not coming then right there Sakila underscore mail username I'm not going to give let's click on this connect click on this continue and you need to wait for three second this here or connected successfully then after here you can see Sakila so they're going to use their Sakila after that right click on this or uh, Sakila then here you need to click on this convert schema so here, this is now converting the schema, all the tables, or views, synonyms here, that's come there. So kilo underscore new. After that, here, convert schema, that's done here. After that, here, let's select this Sakila, then here, synchronize with database. So this is now synchronizing, here you can see this assembly and this here or debut this all let's click on this okay so this completed after that here now let's go on this ssna sql server then you need to replace this so here you can see all uh, this all tables circular tables that comes inside there on this sql server now let's so uh, or click on this select city to see the records so record is not coming there so what we need to do so let's go there here right click this and here migrate data you need to give the password and now click on this continue and click on this connect so this our uh, data is migrating circular database was data that's migrating this is the report let's click on this close and uh, now if i go on this sna let's execute this here you can see data that's come there 
So now here you can see all uh, this is all uh, Sakila or database tables we have synonyms that's that's all comes inside Microsoft SQL Server. Here you can see. Now let's go on this views. These views are there, and here this is the content of the active. So this is the most uh, simplest way we can migrate a MySQL database to SQL Server. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now this video is over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.